Hey everyone, we're going to write a quadratic equation that has the given roots. These are two separate problems. So um, I'll start with the first one. We're going to use the sum and product of roots formula. So we'll get started. We're, our first solution is going to be negative two-thirds. Our second solution is negative four-fifths. We're going to take the sum first, so you add your first uh, solution plus your second solution. So this is negative two-thirds minus four-fifths. <clears throat> now our common denominator here is going to be 15. So let's do that. To get 15, we're going to multiply this by 5. So that's going to be negative 10. Multiply this by 3. So multiply this by 3 and you get negative 12. This gives you negative 22 divided by 15, which equals, your, let me put it up here, negative 22 divided by 15 <coughs> equals negative B divided by A. Now for the product, let's multiply that. So uh, solution 1 times solution 2. That's going to be negative 2 thirds times negative 4 fifths. <clears throat> Multiplying across, that gives you uh, 8 fifteenths. So that's your C divided by A. So our A's do match. That's the first thing you have to do before we uh, write our equation. Your A's need to match. <clears throat> Since they do, we can just write down everything. Our A is 15. Our B is going to be 22, because negative uh, B is negative 22. And our C is going to be 8. So your equation in standard form is going to be um, 15x squared plus 22x plus 8 equals 0. All right. Now let's do the second problem. Uh, our first solution is negative two square root of five. And our second solution is four square root of five. So let's add those up. So solution one plus solution two. That's negative two square root of five plus four square root of five. That equals two square root of five which is your negative B divided by A. Let's do our product, so multiply these two. And that's going to give you negative 2 square root of 5 times 4 square root of 5. Well, this equals uh, negative 8 times square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5, which is negative 40. Uh, negative 40 equals your C divided by A. Therefore, our A's do match because what we can do is put a 1 under, put these in fraction form. So our A is 1. Our B is going to be, since it's negative B, and this is positive, we're going to have negative 2 square root of 5. And our C is negative 40. And you just write your quadratic equation in standard form. So that's going to be x squared minus 2 square root of 5x minus 40 equals 0. So there you go. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.